Here's a look at the Turbo Titan III, a multi-fuel turbine engine. A six-speed automatic transmission, astronaut seats, twin dial steering in place of a steering wheel, the truck of the future, operational today. Now you honestly can't talk turbine concept vehicles without bringing up Big Red and the Turbo Titan III. There was also Chrysler's turbine car, which we can talk about in another video if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about that. But for this video, we're mainly going to talk about the two semis. Now, obviously, if you've gotten to this point, you've seen the Turbo Titan III, which unfortunately, in comparison to Big Red from Ford Motor Company, really fell short with almost everything. One of the places that was very obvious that GM missed the boat was in horsepower. See, Big Red came in at a whopping 600 horsepower with their turbine engine, where GM came in at just around 280 horsepower with their turbine. There was also the issue of the cab. See, Big Red was a much bigger and larger cabin and offered things like a bathroom, a kitchenette, and a spare place for a secondary driver to work and also sleep. Where the Titan, on the other hand, was a cab over pickup truck, had no spare room in it whatsoever, but they actually had the balls to boast, after hearing what was in Big Red, that it had astronaut seats and twin dial steering. If you've seen twin dial steering, I'll throw a picture up of what that piece of crap was. Yeah, somebody lost their job on that one. Wow, two joysticks that do the exact same thing. How futuristic. Ultimately, there were three things that ended up killing these turbine trucks. The first problem was heat. This thing had the capability of essentially melting almost anything it got near. The other big problem was the sound. Turbines are incredibly loud engines, and just being over a turbine engine for as many hours as were needed for a driver would have pretty much driven the guy insane. What? Not to mention death. But ultimately, what ended up killing the turbine for both Chrysler Dodge and General Motors was the fact that the engines had a little bit of a consumption problem. Now on perfectly level freeway going 65 miles an hour consistently, the engines pull about as much fuel as a standard diesel engine at the time. But I think we all know that most roads are not consistently flat. And although these engines could run on just about anything that can bust, they still had an average consumption rate of about 2.1 miles per gallon. 